mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. You are transfigured upon the mount of Christ our God, revealing your glory to your disciples as much as they were able to bear, so that when they saw you crucified, they would know it voluntary and would proclaim to the ends of the earth that you are the light of the Father. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O Christ God, worshiped and glorified in every season and every hour in heaven and on earth. Long suffering, deeply compassionate, and greatly merciful, who loves the just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who calls on men to salvation from the promise of blessings to come. Accept, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, cleanse our bodies, order our minds, purify our thoughts. And deliver us from all affliction, evil, and sickness. Compass us about with your holy angels, that guarded and guided by their hosts, we may reach unity of faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. You are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond the hair than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the virtue, and to us we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless us. Father, be bound upon to us, and bless us, show us the light of your countenance upon us. Have mercy on us. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts, and fashion of all creation, who in your incomparable tender mercy sent down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross, struck the handwriting of our sins, thereby triumphing over the principalities and powers of darkness. O Master and lover of mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication from us sinners, and deliver us from every deadly and dark transgression from all visible and invisible enemies who have sought to do us harm. Nail our flesh with the fear of you, let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts, but wound our souls with your love, that ever gazing upon you, guided by your light, and beholding you the eternal light that no man can approach. And may send up unceasing praises and thanks to you, the Father, without beginning, together with your only begotten Son, and your all holy good and life creating spirit, <coughs> now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, Lord, to everywhere present and fill us all things, <coughs> treasury of blessings and give of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls of good one. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will towards men. O Lord, you open my lips and my mouth, shall show forth your praise. <coughs> Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. holy monastery, for those who are there with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our metropolitan, King Connor, Archbishop of Hanuel, for all of our bishops, priests, deacons, monastics, for all the other clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord President of the United States for our country, for all of its people, civil authorities, and for our men and women in our armed forces serving everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For our Abbas Mother Christopher and for the 
the sisterhood of this holy monastery, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city and for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for seasonable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord or travel in the land by sea where all the sick and the suffering, captives and for their seat in salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. For all our deliverance from all affliction wrong, danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating the most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and the Virgin Mary. But all of the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. The Lord our God, in powers incomparable, your glory is incomprehensible. Your mercy is immeasurable, your love for man is inexpressible. Look down on us. And on this holy house, with pity, O Master, and impart the riches of your mercy and your compassion to us and to those who pray with us. From to your Lord, glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of angels.
to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive back, what credit is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much back. But love your enemies, do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the unthankful and evil, therefore be merciful, just as your Father also is a merciful. Well, I'll give. 
I'll give to the church for the food bank, but my hands will be out there. Because a lot of times we receive things. Outdated. Outdated. Thankfulness. No. We must give the best to Christ. We must give everything. The talk, the best that we have. And so too to others. We really must give. Yeah, when do it. Do it because God is the one who will repay. God is the one who will give us back to what we gave. So we must give. Once again, throw away our old rules. No rules. Jesus' rules. Jesus Christ rules. Jesus Christ teaches us what to do. We should not mess it up with our own thoughts and our own actions. If we do, we're not good givers. If we give Christ, you know, our neighbors something that's outdated or we don't want or there's a hole in that, give it to the Roman cell or what have you. That's not giving. You know someone's in need? Let someone else help. Not me. I need my money. I'm not going to give anything. I want to die with a big bank account. I want to die with a lot of, with a hundred shoes in my closet. Or 10, 20 suits in the closet. You mean I can't give something to someone who needs? What is wrong? Our rule. Our rule is wrong. Christ teaches us how to do it and what to do. Now to do good. Oh my. To do good. It's really, as we heard, it's easy to do good to someone who's good. Well, do good to a, someone who isn't good. And see what happens. See what happens. You know, something may change. That person may change. Why is someone doing good to me? They may say that to themselves. Well, well I may ask you one day, why did you do that? And you know what? We will say, Christ told me to do that. Not mine, not me. I didn't think about it. Matter of fact, I didn't want to do it. Because I don't like it. But God said, do it. So, I did it. And the goodness will blossom. And we do all those things. What happens to us, what happens, our reward will be great in heaven. Yeah, that's what it's all about. It's about the kingdom of God. It's not about the kingdom of me, my little kingdom, my throne. It's not about my camp, my house. It's about the house of God. It's about how we should, how we should really focus our minds, our hearts, and our soul on that kingdom which is to come. So, let's reread today's gospel, which is very short, and let's do it. Let's leave this chapel today and say, you know what? I'm going to love and I'm going to lend and I'm going to do good with Jesus' rules, not mine. So, today's really, you know, we have a real great saint today. All saints are good, you know. Someone said to me the other day, they heard a sermon about the ranks of saints. They said, yeah, okay, there's like all kind of different ranks, and we have some axes and, you know, the nine ranks of the angels and all those things. And I'm sure there are ranks. There's, we hear the, even different stages in heaven. St. Paul went to the third heaven and saw, saw, heard, and couldn't even come back and say what he saw, and couldn't even say what he heard. That's how good it is. No words, human words, could describe what he saw, but nevertheless, ne nevertheless, our saint, one of the saints today, when he was 18 years old, he heard the gospel.
First of all, his dad was a priest. I'm sure he had a wonderful mom. His dad was a priest, and he was a reader in the church. He was related to a bishop. And he heard, when he was 18 years old, the words that take up your cross, deny yourself, follow me. Well, what did he do? He left that day and followed Christ. That very day, 18 years old, got on a boat and went to Jerusalem. I hope he said goodbye to his mom and dad, but he heard the words and he went. And that's what we must do today. We, must, we heard what Jesus said, we must act. But back to the same, he did wonderful things, went to many different monasteries, went to the desert, fought, fought Satan. He, it was said that he never was idle. Never idle. You know, like, don't bother me, I'm taking a nap. I'll be up in an hour. Or I have to chill. Or give me the remote. I'm going to watch, well, you sisters don't do that. But give me the remote. I want to watch TV a little bit. Never was idle. He fasted, prayed, and worked. Worked. Now, we always expect we're going to hear saints pray and saints fasted. He worked. Always. He always worked. And, as I said, he went to various monasteries to make the long story short. He lived to be 109 years of age. 109. One. When I read that, I said, wow, all those years... Of, of praying, fervently praying, not like that you're good coming to church. I'm, how many years I've seen people come in church and they get down on their knees whatever the season is and they go and then they get up and that's it. Then they go talk, talk, talk go about their business. You know, that's not praying. Fervently praying. For all those years until 109 years of age, fervently pray. When's the last time we fervently pray on our knees or on our feet or what have you? When is the last time that we pleaded with God to hear, hear our words, our words to hear us? Now is the time. Now is the time, my dear friends, to act. So may the love of St. Kyriakos and all the love that God can give us change us. May, the, may the, the grace that comes from above enlighten us and truly make us new and wonderful Christians. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is in our midst. Let's say with all our souls, with all our minds, let us say.
Washington, England, the members of what parish work, daily, especially the policemen, the firemen, and the service of engineering duties. Guys, doctor, cough, diagnosis, treat the reason of the pain permanently, give them all complete recovery. Let's pray to the Lord.
been the most blessed Metropolitan Econ, Archbishop of Washington Metropolitan of all America and Canada, the Primate of the Orthodox Church in America, and the for his eminence, the Archbishop Nathaniel, Archbishop of the Romanian Episcopate, Archbishop of Detroit. May the Lord God remember them and all of our bishops in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. For the brethren of this country, for all civil wars, armed forces, everywhere, especially those in Africa, Syria, Egypt, Israel, throughout all the Middle East, watch over them and keep them safe, bring them home to the family loved ones soon. For the policemen, the fireman, and the strikes on duty, watch them keep them safe on their duties. Those who are injured in Iraq, when have cast out Pakistan, Israel, Syria, those of members of the parish who are aiming, those in the hospital nursing home, may the Lord God guide the doctor, proper diagnosis and treatment, to raise them up to bed of pain infirmities. For you people here present, those who are after with just cause, for those in need of God's mercy, may God be with them always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For all the benefactors of this holy monastery, for all those who visit and pray here, for those whom we have prayed for this morning, may the Lord God remember all of them in his kingdom. Always, now and ever, unto the ages of ages for you. And uh, for all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember all in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. May the Lord remember your Christians. Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffering was buried, 
and on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord, the Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with all of you.
we offer unto you this reasonable and bloodless worship. And we ask you and pray you and supplicate you. Send on your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Making the change by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That they may be to those who partake for the purification of soul, for the remission of sins, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness for you, but not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto you this reasonable worship for those who have fallen us within the table. Ancestors, Pauls, Tatars, Prophets, Apostles, Preachers, Martyrs, Professors, Ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious lady, Theotokos and every virgin, Mary, for the holy prophet, for winner, and Matthew's son, for St. Kiriakos, and we commemorate today, for St. Dad, Lord of the Martyrs, Let us ask of the Lord. Let us ask the unity. 
high fashion, accomplishment of thy commandments, increase of thy divine grace, inheritance of thy kingdom. For I do not come to thee in presumption of Christ my God, but made bold by thine inexpressible goodness, lest I stray far away from thy flock, O Master, and become cock by the hope of souls. Therefore I pray thee, O Master, for thou alone art holy, sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my muscles and bones. Renew me entirely, and plant thy fear in my fleshly members, and let thy sanctification never be removed from me. Be my helper and defender, guide my life in peace, and make me worthy to stand at thy right hand with all thy saints. By the prayers and supplications of thy most pure mother, of thy spiritual servants, the most pure angelic powers of all the saints who have ever been pleasing to thee. Amen. <clears throat> In the fear of God and with faith and love, draw near.
Let us attend that we partake of the Holy Divine, life creating in us the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthy give place unto the Lord. Help us, heave us, have mercy on us, and keep us above by your grace. Ask King that the whole day may be perfect. Holy peace, one sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other in our life unto Christ our God. We all thank you, O Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that you have made us worthy this day of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. May straight our paths, strengthen us all in your fear, guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and the intercessions. The glorious day of Tokus and the Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we grant glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the just. Let us depart in the peace. Let us pray to the
Um, first of all, we thank all of you for your uh, love and prayers during the past two weeks for the sisterhood. We had a, a retreat of a special time, uh, and we thank you for praying for us. We were uh, 